Lincoln, I've got a lot of recruits in town last Saturday. I wonder if them and their family asked you about the booing, about the chanting. Did you have to address it throughout the weekend? And what, what would you say to any recruits who had issues with what happened? No, I don't think it came up much. I mean, I think our we have a passionate fan base. Um, and I think it's always important to remember, you know, for all of us, you know, 90 percent of the people in there are diehard Sooners and they're you know they're they're just like us they're gonna fight and kind of be with us no matter what's happening I don't think any fan um, you know any fan wants us to if something's not going well to just quit or, or, or stop so we would hope the fans would take the same attitude it, uh, saw a bunch of your players sort of voice their support for Spencer after the game you know the bullying obviously happened there but what does it mean from a coach's perspective to see that support and has that sort of speak to this team I would expect it I mean our guys we got a tight knit group. Our guys support each other. Um, our guys care about each other. So um, I appreciate seeing it. It's 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 great that they support their teammates, but certainly not surprising. Coach, how do you counsel Spencer through what happened on Saturday? Not just Spencer, Caleb Williams too, because he's in a very awkward situation after something like that. So how do you counsel, counsel both of those guys through that? Yeah, I mean I. The same way I would counsel somebody about going and playing on the road or playing at home when they cheer or playing at home when they boo or playing on the road when they boo. I mean, we just, we don't pay attention to that stuff. I mean, we just, if, if we, it's kind of like how we were after the Tulane game, all right? If we're going to worry about all these things outside that have nothing to do with football, then we're not listening to our message here. Our message is our expectations, okay? We are the only expectations and opinion that counts. Absolutely, we appreciate fans being in the stand and cheering. I'm definitely not saying that, but as far as playing the game, we answer to one standard and that's our own. So whatever said in the heat of a game, that's irrelevant. And then I would say this regarding the quarterback position, uh, if I've got guys in there that have thin skin or can't handle that, then I got the wrong guys in the room and I, and I have the right guys in the room. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.